Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I'm playing. Oh dear, we love on the track, so you know it's bang. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Bianca Jane. I'm so excited to finally film once again. Like I said, a lot of times I already pre-record a lot of things and it's been a while since I actually get to sit in front of the camera and talk to you guys. So today's video, and trust me, I have clothes on. See, yeah. And today's video, in today's video and today's video will be a video about just an update on life of what re what really happened after I graduate college with friendships with finding a job in my career field but I'm gonna be having like a get ready with me type of chat just to update you guys of what's going on I also want to thank everyone who's supporting my channel i'm so happy that i finally reached at least 100 subscribers yay so i am excited to be doing a cute makeup look with my lipstick color from john a's cosmetic called brilliance and if you keep watching this video you're gonna see how it goes look fabulous on your face also go ahead and click the thumbs up button the like button subscribe to my channel and also comment down below if you like my makeup look or not no I'm playing don't do that <laughs> but hopefully this will not be a fail makeup look because I'm gonna try something new we're gonna go for it so there has a lot been going on and with COVID-19 I just feel like personally there's a lot on my mind that needs to be shared so we're gonna about to dip and dive and do the 411 T about updates and what's actually been going on in my life um, it's just been a whirlwind so let's get started I decided talking to you guys so as you know we're gonna start with my Tarte foundation concealer and it looks like that and as you can see I love this product so much it is plant-based so any healthy organic products I definitely recommend with John A cosmetics it's all organic all is scented it feels good looks good I with my cosmetic line I want to promote that healthy is beauty because a lot of people feel like you have to look a certain way dress a certain way to be beautiful but reality like when you're mentally healthy and when you feel great inside and outside, that's important. So your mental health is important and especially with this whole pandemic, people are learning now more than ever that your mental health is definitely important. And to also give back, I have a Facebook private group called Healing Soldiers Group, which a lot of people don't know. And basically I create this Facebook group probably some months ago. It's funny because I can't talk and do makeup at the same time. <laughs> it's like we're gonna have to pause to get all this commercial out right now, okay? That's what we're gonna do. So, like I said, I started this Healing Soldiers Facebook group and I've started this group about, I would say I probably started this group between four to five months ago and basically I created a private 
group so that way I, I created a safe space which it is a private group so that way people can feel so people have a place where they can feel free to express themselves without judgment feel free and open enough to talk about their mental health where is their mental health what do they want to work on as far as their healing journey so if you like to be a part of that it's called the healing Soldiers group all you have to do is just go on facebook i would also put all that information down below in the description box and i really like for you to be part of the healing Soldiers group we are a family and that's what i tell everybody who joined we're a small knit family and we really support each other and um i basically spread awareness about how mental health is important there's also tarot sessions by choice so if you want like have a tarot tarot reading done or session whatever those services are provided but that's all by choice if you decide to do so so let's get on with doing makeup okay don't make fun of my sponge because my sponge is as you can see kind of dirty usually I like to put on concealer so that it doesn't mess up like my face face you know because you got to protect your skin and make sure you protect your skin so with this whole COVID-19 thing so I graduated on May 20th from UMGC fun fact my school was actually of my school was University of Maryland University College but they changed it to University Global Campus and it, it happened very recently I believe they had changed the name at the beginning of this year I really love going to school there like I really enjoyed it I mostly took online classes due to like traveling and moving a lot so that was like a better option for me is to do online classes and it's kind of funny how a lot of people have to do online classes to, during um due to pandemic but i'm happy that i had finished because i feel like trying to do school right now and then so much stuff going on in our world it would have been a challenge to stay focused so i want to give a round of applause <laughs> To all the people out there right now that are currently in school because it's not easy with so much stuff going on in our world and then still have to focus and get that education. But trust me, when you get that education, it is worth it because it's a major one of the major accomplishments that you can do and nobody can take your education away from you. Okay? So I graduated May 20th and of course, due to the pandemic, it was unsafe for to have graduation. So my school canceled it and I was bummed out about it. But at the end of the day, I'm happy because if it's for people's safety, then I'd rather for people to stay at home and be safe in quarantine rather in social distance than rather, you know, putting people lives at risk just for a graduation um but i was bummed about it because and a lot of people i'm pretty sure who got a lot of stuff canceled this year or had a reschedule are pretty bummed that their plans got changed but i'm very optimistic so i just believe like everything happens for a reason and i feel like there's no mistakes you know I feel like everything is happening for a reason, so you kind of just have to roll with life. <laughs> Look at me being all positive. You kind of have to just sometimes roll with life, and then you have to understand that sometimes things is more than, sometimes things is just above you, okay? Like, some things is just out of your control, and instead of being in dumps about it, just find ways where you can look at the positive side about it. So my degree was, it's funny because when I had started school, I had switched my major so many times. I first started off as being a business major, just like a general business major. And then I was a little bit unhappy about it because I felt like it 
wasn't covering my creative side. So then I went from a, a general business major to a theater major. And then I realized that, okay, well, if I'm going to spend a lot of money and pay for my education and also be in school debt, I might as well get a degree that it, I could actually use it and make money off of it. Like in the corporate world, if I, you know, if that ended up being my path, my journey. I decided to change my major to marketing and I want to thank my academic counselor and I'm not going to tell you her name because I'm not going to put her information out there like that because I didn't ask for her permission but this particular academic counselor that worked for my school, my university, she really sat me down and really asked me like what are the, what are your hobbies like what are the things that you enjoy to do and, and I was like well I'm very creative you know I'm very artistic and I love like creating things and making things and but I also want to be my own entrepreneur and I told her about how I want to have my own businesses and business ventures and blah 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 so then basically she was like well why don't you major in marketing I was like what I can major in marketing you know because at the time no one had really explained all that to me and what marketing means so I changed my major to marketing, but I ended up getting my associate's degree in business management and then I ended up taking extra classes to get certified in business management. And I'm just happy that I ended up choosing marketing because I feel like that major definitely defines me and who I am in general. You know, it's hard for me to do makeup and talk at the same time, but I'm trying, okay? I'm really trying. Okay, focused. My hair is all in the way, like, oh God. I don't have pins to pin it back. I need to get a pin or something. Jesus, I can't even get my hair back the way I need to get my hair back, girl. Okay, let's tuck it about behind the ear. Okay. Maybe I need to hold my face like this. Oh, I do makeup. Wouldn't that be weird? And then when I was about to finish college, like before I finished college, I had to start my own cosmetic line because I love playing and makeup and I really like makeup and I like colors and I like, you know, I feel like makeup is like, I like, pretty much I was like one of those girls that like love to do dress up growing up. So I'm pretty sure a lot of little girls who love dress up and then as an adult they turn into love makeup, they can relate. <laughs> so that's how I was. I loved playing dress up growing up and I then when I got old enough to wear makeup, I loved playing in makeup and just doing it and so I was like hmm I want to start my own business my own cosmetic line however it has to be something different it has to be something that you don't people normally don't see all the time or you know or normally people don't have access to all the time so I thought about what about organic cosmetic because if I want to do something, I want to do something that's different but also in a healthy form of way. So I'm all about doing something that's beneficial whether it's to your mental in a healthy form or to your body in a healthy form. Because I want people to be able to look pretty but also feel good and provide products that is not going to harm your skin or too harsh on your skin. Oh, and let me give y'all the tea. So after I, so I was like, oh my God, I can't wait till I graduate because I feel like once I finish college, I'll have so much time on my hands. On my hands. News flash. When you finish college, do not believe the hype. Oh, if when I finish school, I'm going to have so much time on my hands. No. Because other things, it's like once you finish college, that's when the real, real world definitely hits you in your face. And sometimes it can hit you in your face hard. But I'm not going to lie, after I finished college, I did feel 
very proud of myself because I know that my journey while going to school was not easy. I had plenty of mental breakdowns. But like, just I, there was a lot of times where I was stressed. I'm gonna be real with y'all. Um, it was not easy at all. Like, at all. <laughs> at all. But it was worth it and I'm glad that I stuck with it and I finished. And I always tell people like, it doesn't matter how long it takes you to finish college just as long as you finished, okay? Remember that. And also don't put so much pressure on yourself. Like if you wanna go back to school, no matter how old you are, go back to school, always be a student, always willing to be a student and learn in life. Have a student mentality is important because that's how successful people become successful when they keep their student mentality. Don't forget to blend your neck. The reason why I got my marketing degree was for myself because I'm like, if I'm going to have, like, be an entrepreneur and have my own business, then I want to have the education to back up what I'm doing. So I was like, if I'm going to have my own business, I need to invest in myself. So that's why I went to school and ended up getting a marketing degree because I invested towards myself. And I feel like in life, you need to invest in yourself. Because that's what's gonna matter at the end of the day. Are you happy? Is this something that you wanna do for the rest of your life? You know, are you fulfilled? Are you fulfilled? Comment down below. Realize that at the end of the day, you can't make everybody happy. And they're gonna be people that's always going to complain or judge you for the things that you do. But at the end of the day, if I'm happy and I'm satisfied with whatever I decide to do, then things are Gucci. I'm playing on a talk slang. Things are great. <laughs> I wanna keep my eyebrows like this because they look cute. And I wanna go for this natural look. Let me stop talking like that. I've been doing during COVID a lot of self-reflecting. And I'm glad that I'm having this time to self-reflect because a lot of times I tend to just go, 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 go. And then now I feel like I it's like Bianca, it's time for you to sit down and it's time for you to think about what steps you want to take next. And it's no longer about trying to please people and everybody now it's just more focusing on like okay if i want to be represented how do i want it to look or if i want to broadcast my brand how do i want my image to be and those are the questions i had to think about and i realized that if i'm going to if i'm if i'm going to present myself if my if my brand is going to be put out to the world i want people to understand that i'm a type of person that promotes self love okay my brand is all about self love and mentally happy and <laughs> self love has the top Especially for eyeshadows. Like, I love her eyeshadows because they're so pigmented. And who knows, maybe one day I'll create my own eyeshadow palette. We'll see. You know, we'll see. You just have to keep watching. <laughs> Working on being at peace. Because honestly, that is my number one goal is to be at peace. I'm a believer that quality is better than quantity. i rather take my time to work on a project and take my time to grow rather than just try to rush, rush and put stuff out there and it's like a, you're half doing it and I ra I'd rather not be that type of person. So that's probably why I don't post a lot of videos quickly on my channel. And if you guys don't know, I'm gonna be a fine ass auntie. <laughs> <laughs> my sister is having her first child baby love and she my niece will be due in September or the beginning like the end of September beginning of October time frame and I'm so excited to be an auntie 
and I just feel like when she comes, I feel like she's just gonna change my world. Like I already know it, like we're gonna be like best friends. I already have so much stuff planned for her. And I pray that one day she can look at her auntie and she could just be like, wow, I'm so happy that, you know, I'm her auntie. Well, correction, finance auntie, okay? That's, that's what it is. Not auntie, not aunt, it's fine ass auntie. Another question that people want to know is like, when are you gonna have children? Where are you? And right now, children is not my focus and I feel like God is gonna give it to me when the time is right. And right now the time is not right, so. Cause I know people are like, oh, when are you gonna have children? There's dogs for a reason, <laughs> okay? Like, I'll be quick to get a, another puppy. I'll be quick to get another dog before I have a child. I'm just saying, not, don't get me wrong, I do want to be a mom one day, but I'm just saying, like, I'm good where I'm at, and that's what's important. And do Zola. Zola, 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 Zola. That's Zola. Because I want to show you, so I told you we're gonna do Zola and I dipped it in another color, wow. Because I want to show you how to create a look with brilliance. So we're gonna put it on our eyelids, girl. Ooh, ah, ooh, ooh. The reason why with my channel, I've had to figure out what I want to do with my YouTube channel. So, I figured that my channel could just be like a journey, okay? Because there's, there's a lot going on in my life and I just feel like I could just show you my story one at a time. Like, I have a lot of stories. So if you just keep watching and you can keep paying attention, you can probably figure out eventually what I'm doing or what's going on because it's just it's pretty this channel is pretty much about my life but you're just gonna put on your eyelids girl you see like that put on your eyelids I always say don't ask questions watch first then ask your question back milkshake this is so rewarding mm. Take a break and go get you a milkshake. Seriously. Sometimes you gotta eat food that makes you feel good, but it's not healthy, but it still makes you feel good. I mean, we're quarantining yourself. I'm playing with that. So, probably, are we so good? I don't know. Look at me. I'm in the room. I really Around those, what you call them? 
Flipping your fins, you don't give too far. Legs are required for jumping, dancing, strolling around. No. What's that word again? Street. Up where they walk. Up where they run. Up where they play on day nights. Wish I could be part of that world. Moon and Matata, what a wonderful phrase. A coon and Matata, ain't no passing her race. It means no worries for the rest of your day. It's all probably philosophy. A boon of Matata. Okay, right now I need to fix my eyeshadow because it's looking scary so I am going to get the Cahabla Cahabla this color the Cahabla Cahabar Cahabar oh look at that look at that look at that you're a movie shower I'm blending it because I just feel like my eyeshadow is just not put together. I didn't want to look like a carnival. <laughs> I'm showing the world. Catch a trip of the rising. Tell princess. Now, when did you let your heart decide? I can open your Take one by one. Was it like makeup karaoke? What happened? <laughs> Next, we're going to do a eyeliner. Don't worry, I'm gonna have to clean that side up and I'm gonna fix this side. But let us go come get But basically, I'm taking Giza, which is this color where my hair is at. Taking that color, Giza, and I put it like right here, like in the inner eyeball, in the inner crease. Just call my it's called. But it's a drugstore blush that I use. So if anybody know what is this called? Oh, called True Complexion Soft Focus Finishing Powder. I knew that. But this is what you can get at Walgreens. Cause you know, sometimes Walgreens we have some makeup. Questions? Yeah. <laughs> I know this video is kind of all over the place, but it's just an update what's going on in my life and doing makeup and showing you how you can make these what my lip colors as one of your makeup looks. So, crush myself. Middle name, John A, and that's the reason why I named my makeup company called John A Cosmetics. Shoe size, I wear a size seven. I have small shoes. I mean, I have small size shoes. I have small feet. I have a small shoe size, that's what I meant. 
eye color. Dark brown, but sometimes my mom said that my eyes look gray. Biggest fear. I had like every day. I mean, who's not scared? I'm scared now. Like, look at our world. Um, last time you cried last night. <laughs> Crying is so 2020. Like, if you have not cried in 2020, I don't know what type of drugs you take. I think everybody's crying right now. Everybody. Crying is normal. Crying is life. Crying is therapeutic. Last person you listen to. Mariah Carey. Last person you texted. I don't really text much. Oh, last person I texted. <laughs> um, my mom, my sister, most likely. Fave sports team. I don't watch sports. Fave color, rose gold. But this is in lilac. Friend, plenty. <laughs> I got more than one best friend in. Thanks for me. Fake celebrity. It's kind of hard. Hopefully me one day. But favorite celebrity. Like right now? Let's just say Carrie Washington. Oh no. Chloe and Holly is my favorite celebrity right now. I'm loving the music. Any scars? Yes. Plenty, and especially in my heart. <laughs> Kiss anyone? Definitely. Someone you hate. Okay, so I clean up my eyeshadow look. <laughs> and next, we are going to add mascara. Oh, and then I clean up my eyeliner as well. I had to do that off camera. I mean, let's just be honest. Let's just say it was a struggle. Wow, see? That's why I have to do stuff off camera. This is exactly the reason why I messed up right here. Like, this is why I have to do stuff off a camera. Yes. We're gonna have a close up. Okay guys, this is my final look with my lipstick named Brilliance. Um, I have fixed it a little bit to make sure everything was good because <laughs> I think I put so much on. Hopefully you like my makeup look and it just shows you that no matter what color you use with Johnny Cosmetic Products, it was good with any makeup look. I hope you guys support me. And as you can see, I have some more products in the background. Um, check out my website, the link will be down below. Please comment and please say, hey, what's up? Say anything, say hello, how are you doing? How is your mental health?